What is going on everybody? My name is Dan. I'm into hiking, backpacking gear, all of those things. If you guys are into that stuff too, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, I do have an Instagram. I will put that right here for you guys to so make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Today we are talking about sleep pads. We're going to talk about five different sleep pads. We're going to talk about all the sleep pads that I own. Uh, some I use, some I don't. Uh, it's sort of my progression of sleep pads. And the first sleep pad we're going to talk about, oh, first we got to thank the sponsor of today's video, Backcountry. Backcountry, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. The first sleep pad that I bought um, was actually a foam sleep pad. It was like a closed cell foam pad. Don't recommend it. Piece of garbage. Miserable night's sleep. Then I thought that I would up my game and buy something like this. I was convinced that this like weird pattern would be more comfortable. Uh, it is slightly more comfortable, but it's not uh, super comfortable. So there are different types of sleep pads. This one, if you can see that, is the Thermarest Z Rest. Uh, they also have the Thermarest Z Lite. That would be the one I would recommend. The one that I'm talking about is the one you've probably seen a lot of through hikers use. It's silver on one side, yellow on the other. They're pretty much the same thing. The reason people like these is they're an accordion style sleep pad, super instant setup and they are indestructible. So you're not gonna pop it, but they're not super comfortable. So like, especially if you're a side sleeper, your hips are gonna dig into the ground on this. Um, this pretty much just takes the edge off of like hard ground underneath you. So if you're like okay with that comfortability, then this would do fine for you. Or if you're the type of person that is super rough with your gear, this would be good for you. Uh, but other than that, uh, this doesn't really do much more than act as like maybe a second layer for a really cold night because uh, you can actually use this underneath or on top of another sleep pad for a little bit more warmth. The next pad that I bought was the Thermarest NeoAir X Lite. And that pad is not here today because somebody borrowed it and they never returned it. So real nice, huh? You're watching, I want my pad back. I want my sleep pad back, you hear me? So I got a stand in for you. Um, it is this pad right here. It's essentially the same <laughs> style. It's also made by the same company. This is a newer pad as of about the past year or so. This is the Thermarest Neoair Uberlite. So the difference between the x Light and the Uberlite is the x Light is a little bit warmer. Um, and let me just talk about that for a second, R value. So I'm not gonna get super technical uh, cause I can't get super technical on this cause I'm not a super technical person when it comes to this kind of stuff. When you're shopping for sleep pads, you're gonna see R value on the vast majority of them. And the higher the number, the colder the temperature that you can take this sleep pad down to and it will keep you warmer. So for instance, this pad here is a 2.4 I think R value. Uh, this one is a 2.0 R value. I've got other ones that are much higher R value. And so they're each meant for different purposes. This is the coldest pad, but it will still get you down into probably, I don't know, the 40s, I would say, before you're gonna start to feel a chill. If you're a cold sleeper, maybe the 50s. But the reason people want this particular sleep pad is because this is about the most comfortable to the lightest weight pad out on the market right now. This is the large version. I like my sleep pads wide. I do not want a narrow sleep pad because I roll around at night and to me they're just totally uncomfortable. It ruins the night if I don't have a wide sleep pad. So I need at least 25 inches wide and that's what this is. This particular one is also like kind of, I don't know if you can, can see that. It's like a mummy style. <laughs> it gets narrow at this end and then the head end gets a little bit wider, so it's more form-fitting to your body, and they do that because really, they're just cutting out material at the bottom, and they're saving weight. This particular one weighs 12 ounces. You can get this, I believe, down to like seven or eight ounces uh, for the sleep pad. This is a great option if you're looking to save weight, especially in the summer, or the early fall or the late spring temperatures. It's also nice and thick and it's got like these baffles that go this way. So it's, you know, it's not uncomfortable. It's actually really comfortable sleep pad. So let's say you don't like some of the brands that I'm uh, talking about today or you wanna see what else is out there. Let me show you how you can find uh, some other sleeping pads that may work well for you very, very easily. Log on to backcountry.com and what I like to do is I like to go to activities I like to go to hike camp and then I like to go to shop and then it pulls up all of the different categories for hiking. 
out there, which is really cool. And then you can click on sleeping and you can also select sleeping pads. And this will pull up all the different sleeping pads that they offer. So this is really cool. You can sort it by highest rated, new arrivals, lowest to highest price, and you can find your sleep pad that you want. Now let's say that you've got even more questions that you're not finding answers to just from looking at the website. Uh, you can click on chat right here and then you can type in your name. I wanna talk about hike and camp gear and then I hit submit. And this is gonna connect you to one of the gear heads. The gearheads are great because they're former Olympians, former athletes, they are trail guides. So these guys know their stuff and they can at least point you in the right direction if you have extra questions about a specific item. Also, this weekend is their Memorial Day sale. Make sure that you head over there right away if you're looking to purchase some items for this upcoming backpacking season. And they also gave me a coupon code. It's DAN15 for 15% off of your order. Some exclusions do apply. Try out those codes and see if you could save a couple bucks. If you're a cold sleeper, this is probably, my arms are actually already starting to get warm. This is probably the best sleeping pad on the market for the warmth to weight ratio and comfortability, packability, all of that. This is a four season sleep pad. So this will get you easily down to zero degrees or probably lower and you'll be toasty warm underneath you. Now keep in mind that if you're still cold, even though you have a high R value sleep pad like this one, this is a 6.9 R value sleep pad. That's really warm. Your problem may be that your sleeping bag or quilt or something else is causing the problem. So just keep that in mind. It's a sleep system that is gonna help you out. Um, but if you're looking to sleep warm underneath you from that cold ground, this is a great option. This can still be used in like the summertime. It's just gonna be warm underneath you. So like I said, if you're a cold sleeper, this may be great. But essentially it's the exact same shape as the one I just showed you. Although it is a little bit more durable, the nylon on the outside is a higher denier nylon than this Uber Light pad. This Uber Light pad I think is like a 7D or a 10D nylon, something like that. Um, and <laughs> there is some people that have complained about that puncturing really easily. This one is, a little bit more durable in that direction so keep that in mind as well so if you're a little bit rough on your gear and you're wanting to think about that this might be a good option for you as well <laughs> my <laughs> my favorite sleep pad and i'm going to explain why this is my favorite sleep pad this is the nemo tensor regular wide version of the nemo tensor it's the nemo tensor line so if you go onto backcountry's website search nemo tensor a few different options will pop up. This one's built a little bit differently than the uh, Thermarest brands over here. This one's still gonna have baffles that go this direction, but they're kind of quilted in the middle. So uh, there's just kind of presses in here. And what I've noticed is it feels more supportive. So like, you don't feel like you're gonna roll off. Like the ends just slightly curve up. Not much that it would bother you or that you would notice it. It's almost like they're curving up from the baffle at the end here. I also like this particular one because it's rectangle. <laughs> it's rectangle. <laughs> it's rectangle all the way through it. So it doesn't have that mummy style to it. I like that because I can spread my legs out at the bottom if I want to. I can move my arms out. I can roll around on it. I'm not gonna fall off of it. This one has a 3.5 R value, so it's about half the R value of the Thermarest X-Therm, but this one will still get you down into the 20s. It'll definitely get you down below freezing, probably 20 to 30 degrees if you're a cooler sleeper. I'm a warm sleeper, so I can get this down to about 20 degrees and be okay. Uh, anything below that, and I'm definitely bringing the X-Therm because I'm for sure gonna start to feel a chill. The other thing I enjoy about this particular sleep pad is that the insulation that's inside of it along with the Uber Light and along with the X-Therm, they all have like a Mylar shiny coating metallic insulator, like a space blanket inside of them. This one has, I believe, two layers inside of it, but they're suspended opposite of these baffles. And so when you press on it and you lay on it, you don't hear the crinkle. 
like you would in some of the other brands. So it's a little bit quieter and that's really, really nice and that's really, really important for a good night's sleep. Also, one other thing you wanna consider when you're buying these sleep pads is possibly purchasing a pump sack. Now, the Nemo comes with a pump sack. Um, I don't believe these other ones come with pump sacks. You have to purchase that separately, so keep that in mind. So this is the pump sack that comes with the Nemo, okay? It's a Vortex pump sack. And essentially, all you do is you connect this little nozzle down here, and then you open this up, you blow into it and it opens up and then you can just roll it and it pumps up the sleep pad. These are really nice for just saving your breath and not making you dizzy at night. The worst part about a sleep pad, especially an air pad after a long hike is getting to camp and having to blow one of these things up. It takes a lot of energy to do it. Now, granted, you're gonna have a little bit extra weight. I don't know exactly how much that weighs. I think maybe uh, an ounce and a half, two ounces extra, but just keep that in mind. Those are very, very helpful. Okay, so if I had to choose one sleeping pad to rule them all, which one would it be? I think you guys probably already know the answer to this because you've seen me use it and talk about it in a million other videos. It would be this one right here. It would be the Nemo Tensor Regular Wide version of the Nemo Tensor. It's almost a four season pad. It is the most comfortable in my personal opinion. It is also pretty lightweight and I have yet to have a bad night's sleep on this sleep pad. All right, I hope that helps you guys out. I hope you're able to at least get pointed in the right direction while you're shopping for a sleep pad for this upcoming season. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification so that I can send you a video every single time it's released and I will see you on the next one.